six Delta Zulu Zulu. Mike six Delta Zulu Zulu. Is anybody on the frequency, please? Okay, this is Mike six Delta Zulu Zulu. Testing, testing. With the uh, the long aerial. Testing, testing with the long aerial. Your bark is worse than your bite. I let the well swallow. And this is Mike Six Delta Zulu Zulu testing, testing. Mike Six Delta Zulu Zulu testing with the stock aerial, the stock rubber duck aerial. the antennas and their signal strengths. I'll go through them from the top and they get better as it goes down the list. So the stumpy, the two stumpies are um, nice and small for close work, um, it's very handy, they don't get in the way at all. The rigid stumpy at the top has a zero dB signal and um, like I say it's Hard to, hard to damage, I, quite, I use it quite a lot using um, playing airsoft because it's so small. The flexible stump is next. Um, the flexible stump is about 60mm long and it also had a 0 dB. The stock antenna, the one that comes with the, with the uh, UVR5 um, is quite rigid, it feels like it would be quite easy to damage. Um, that had a signal strength of two to three, and that's about 120 mil long. And then the long antenna, we had a signal of five to six dB. Um, I thought it'd do better actually, but um, well, that's what it had. And uh, the length of that is just under 400 mil. So it's quite long, gets in the way a bit. So going from this test, my favourite one is the medium sized flexible antenna. It is about 170 millimetres long and that had a signal of 5 to 6 as well. So it had one of the best signal strengths and it's well less than half the size of the long air antenna. Uh, it's flexible so it's harder to damage so I think generally that's probably the one I'll go for okay I hope this helps um, with you deciding what antennas you fancy if you don't uh, want to get all of them but uh, I hope this helps with some of your some of your decision making thanks very much bye bye